Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video is going to show you how you can potentially double or more your battery life in Windows 10 or Windows 11. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is gonna show you how you can increase your battery life quite drastically when using Microsoft Edge for browsing in Windows 10 or 11. Now this does work also in the last version of Edge for Windows 7, 8 and 8.1, but obviously that's no longer supported probably by the time you're watching this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Microsoft Edge. So let's just open that up. And then what we want to do is we want to go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner there. So click on those and then we want to go down to settings just down the bottom there. You might need to scroll down to get to it. So click on that. And then once settings is loaded, scroll down and go down to system and performance there. And what we're looking at here is efficiency mode. So this basically will help extend the battery life by saving computer resources. It does say benefits may vary depending on your device applications and individual browser habits. But what it tries to do is it tries to conserve power by basically putting tabs. These are these things at the top of the screen here, which you're not using to sleep, basically suspend them to stop them from using processing power, GPU power, memory and the hard drive basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings there and as you can see here on some systems you might just have a simple on off switch but I've got a turn on efficiency mode when and it said when the laptop is unplugged and has a low battery. Now what if I wanted to turn on efficiency mode so that it, re it reduces the power consumption all the time. We'll click on this drop down here and there we go. We've got different options here. So we can turn on efficiency mode when the laptop is unplugged from the main. So i.e. when it's running off a of battery or we can say, right, we want to run efficiency mode always so that regardless of whether or not it's plugged in or using battery, it could save us money on energy consumption. Or we can say never, we never want it to conserve power. So what I would recommend though is if you're using the laptop on battery is to basically select this option here, unplugged. So with it now on unplugged, it means when it's running just off of battery, Edge is gonna try and do its utmost to save as much power as possible, as much battery power. Now you can go further here. I mean, at the moment here it's saying, underneath here, put in inactive tabs to sleep after the specific amount of time. So it says when efficiency mode is on, inactive tabs will be put to sleep after five minutes or less. Actual time may vary depending on resource usage and activities that prevent a site from sleeping, e.g. playing audio. What you can do is you can click on here and you can adjust the time that the tabs become inactive. So say for instance, if you really wanted maximum battery performance, then I would say select 30 seconds of inactivity. And then what should happen is, is after 30 seconds, these tabs up here, if we haven't gone into them, they will go to sleep. And basically none of the scripts will play. There you go, as you can see, they've actually gone gray. So uh, that means those tabs have gone to sleep. So anything running on those websites would have been frozen. So for instance, if you was watching uh, your, for, for a new email and your emails were being opened in one of those tabs, then it possibly wouldn't check for new emails. This is a tricky one because it means that if you put the tab to sleep and you're sort of keeping your eye on the tab to see if you've got a new email, then it's not gonna show. But thankfully, you can add this option here, never put these sites to sleep. So you can add the address of the, the email, for instance. So if it was Yahoo I was going to, you just type in there yahoo.com, okay? And then you just add 
and there you go that adds it and that means that when I go to yahoo.com it will never ever put that site to sleep or if I wanted to be more precise about the address then I could go to add and say for instance type in there mail.yahoo.com as I know that comes up at the top of the screen click on that and there you go that means that yahoo.com and mail.yahoo.com are excluded from being put to sleep but also it excludes them from other performance optimizations like discarded tabs efficiency mode and, and more now if you wanted to remove those uh, sites from the never put these sites to sleep list then all you do is just click on the three dots just to the right hand side and then just click on remove there and that removes them you've also got the option here to show fade sleeping tabs which is what these have done at the moment if you didn't want the sleeping tabs to fade then you could turn that off and there you go they come back on um, also you can turn off sleeping tabs altogether if uh, you didn't want them but that would does really really help with battery saving now it's great from the point of view like I say if I go into say eBay there as you can see there's animation there going across the screen and that all takes up really power from the system that that takes up graphical uh, processing power that takes up CPU power that takes up memory and to some degree when it's caching stuff that is accessing the hard drive so it's all taking up power so it's good to have this uh, put inactive tabs to sleep because what it does is in the background it pauses those adverts and anything else any scripts that are running on the website anything that's happening in the background it basically um, pauses it so that it's not using battery power so you've also got you've got other options here in the time here you can select 30 seconds 5 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours 6 hours 12 hours of inactivity before you suspend or pause the uh, or put to sleep the tab so it's up to you what you choose but obviously if you're really desperate for battery power then obviously I would select 30 seconds perhaps if your battery power is is pretty high at the moment and and you're not too worried then go for five minutes but obviously 30 seconds like I say that would virtually instantly suspend tabs after you've finished using them so there you go a great way of potentially saving and extending the battery life on your Windows laptop I hope this guide helps and if it did don't forget to hang around. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time, battery power, and money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on twitter at cwtech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk liking sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel thank you very much